So it's almost time for me to start work for the day. I usually start at 9 a.m. There's been a few times where I actually start work earlier, like around 8 or 8.30, but I've started to really have a fixed schedule on when I'm online, just so I have dedicated time to do my own things, such as working out in the morning. I just got back from a long break, so there's gonna be a lot of emails and messages to check out. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do to start the morning. Starting this new year, I would be joining a new team. My previous team was heavy on the UI, and even before this role, I didn't really work with JavaScript, HTML, and CSS at all. But despite that, I was able to learn a whole bunch of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript with the work that we were doing. And that just proved to me to not stay so attached to a particular language and to focus more on the problem solving. And just a little insight on what I did on my previous team, I worked on the product configurator for the Salesforce revenue management platform. By the way, what you guys have been watching this entire time has been through this lens filter. This is the walking away white mist soft filter. And it's a filter that you attach to your camera lens to add a more dreamy and cinematic effect. I also picked up this ND filter, which is like sunglasses for your lens. So you can control how much light is getting through to your camera lens, giving you the ability to control your camera settings. I'll put links for these in the description down below so you can also get your hands on these. So going back to what I was talking about earlier, this new team that I will be joining is back in focus. So it kind of feels like I'm starting a new job, a new position, which I kind of am to some degree, but I'm still sticking to the same company. So yeah, the majority of my time today will be spent going through the onboarding process and reading some docs. So since today isn't too demanding, I think I'll head over to a cafe and do a little bit of work there as well. So it's pretty windy out here right now, but I started to feel the pain of sitting at my desk for long periods of time. And that's really started to get to me and make me feel sedentary. And so going on these daily walks after lunch or these midday walks really helped me, you know, stay active throughout the day. This is now part of my routine and something I really look forward to throughout the day. So although I'm a remote software engineer, primarily working from home, I sometimes forget that I actually get to work from literally anywhere. And that means I get to drive to a cozy coffee shop and do some work there like how I am now. I'm very fortunate to still be working remotely in this post-pandemic era while others may have had to switch to a hybrid or even fully return to office mandate. So this year, I'm going to definitely take full advantage of this remote work life and travel to some cool and interesting places around the state. So stay tuned for some more videos of the places I'll be traveling to and working from. To be honest, this is my first time at this coffee shop and I didn't realize that it was actually in this business building, which is a first for me. Anyways, I'm just gonna get back home and do a little bit more work. So here's the project that I've been working on. This is called Pomodoro 2.0. It's a work in progress, but this is what I have so far. But first I wanna give some background on why I created this. Ever since college, I've been using the Pomodoro time management method, and that allows me to stay focused for long periods of time while also ensuring that I get my breaks in between. 
And that led me to creating a more fine-grained Pomodoro application. So instead of the classical way of setting 25 minutes followed by five minute break intervals, you can now customize each interval and each break time the way that you want it. So let's say you wanna front load your focus time. You can set the first interval to 60 minutes followed by a five minute break, then 45 minute interval, then a 30 minute interval. So in this way, you can really customize your focus times and your break times just the way that you like it. For example, for me, I like to ease into my focus time. So I set my intervals to 30, 45, and 60. And that allows me to really have a deeper focus. In terms of the technology behind this, I'm using Vue.js, which is a JavaScript framework that you can use to build pretty cool applications. I'm still very new to Vue.js, but I find that it's really intuitive to use. But I know it's gonna take me a while to really understand the framework and become very familiar with it. There's still a lot of things to do, but I can see a lot of features to be added on top of the Pomodoro session, such as using a AI to really track your sessions and seeing what you can improve on, whether that's decreasing your focus time or increasing your breaks, things of that nature. So yeah, I'm just gonna call it a day and relax for the rest of the night. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.